Okay, it looks as if we're live. Welcome to the Memory Rainbow Academy. Today we're gonna dive right in to a session for beginners. So let's get started. All right, so here is Canva. Canva, for those of you who don't know and maybe have heard about this through the pipeline, that Canva is sort of a free and paid subscription for those who want to learn how to design. Canva has this passion and this desire to help people around the entire world learn how to create and to launch their creative Yes, online, and they're there to help you. They have made a, quite a lot of their products available at no cost, especially for educators, students, teachers. If you are an educator, you can apply for a free account with Canva. If you're a student, you can also apply for a free account. Actually, anybody can. And I think for the educators, they probably will get a lot more of the elements and products that Canva has available for free. And it will be equivalent to the pro subscription that pretty much opens everything up to you. They also have teams, then you can now work with teams. And so they're making it as easy as possible to bring your dream to life, essentially. So let's get started. I'm really excited to get moving here. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, first of all, take a look at the user interface. I think for those of you who need, who need to sign up, it's very, very easy. I, I don't think I have to go into that section. If you want me to go over that, you can let me know in the comment section and we'll see if we can Maybe I can sign up for the free version so you can follow me through, but it's pretty self-explanatory. And when you come in, I'm gonna bring you to the front. When you first sign up, and you, you'll come into this page, which pretty much everyone sees, this is a very, very intuitive out layout. It's very, very simple. And it says, what will you design today? You can just hit this button, create a design. They just want to make things so easy for you. And uh, this top menu, it gives you your account if you want to go into your personal account. I'm not going to go into that because that will give you my personal setting. And it, it gives you the information about your, your address, name, what, what, you know, whether you're paid or free in terms of your subscription. This is a bell here that's gonna be a notification. If there's anything they want you to know when you sign on, you'll see maybe a red number or something there to indicate that you need to check in for some information they'd like to share with you. Once you've signed up, you can get your picture here. I haven't submitted my picture there, I probably should. And then it has the name of your channel or your design, and mine is Memory Rainbow Academy, as you can see they have here it's very simply laid out you've got your home base which is where we are now it's got templates but they just hit you with that right away so if you don't know how to design you don't have to worry about it because they have thousands and thousands of designers and who are contributing to templates that you can use for free to get started which is what's really nice because i also use the adobe software and i love adobe premiere pro illustrator that's where i basically got my I start but you're when you get into those programs they're, they're very professional programs and you kind of have to know what you're doing many of those people have gone to school for years to learn how to be designers so they jump in already having that knowledge base and because you kind of have a blank screen there are a lot of assets available but you have to kind of know what you're doing there's a little bit much more of a learning curve with the Adobe products and some of the others online so Canva wants to take away some of that need to be a professional or need to have gone to school. I didn't go to school. I'm a physician. I went to school for being a family medicine doctor, but not for design. So 
I didn't know how to draw or do anything. And I've had to learn a lot of things through YouTube. And then when Canva came along, I was like, this is great because it helped me so much learn a little bit more about design, how to do thumbnails and how to do a video. So hopefully it will help you as well. Once you get in, you like I said, you can hit here and it brings up all these templates and you can run through them. To make it easier though, you can watch these drop these arrows you click on these arrows they open up so that if you're interested in business because you don't want it you could spend all day just going through these thousands literally probably thousands of templates you would not know what to do except if you spotted something you like but they make it easy if you want a, a word document you can click on this and it takes you there if you're interested in doing a presentation it takes you there a whiteboard the whiteboards are really nice prototype mind map website they canva offers a website for free i think if you if you are a free subscription you can get up to me i believe up to five free websites and I think it's almost unlimited if you're in the paid uh, prescription plan. And, but the only thing, it, it is a one-page website. And so you pretty much are scrolling vertically down. But it's very nice, though. It, it You can use it on desktop and your mobile devices as well. And it does adjust very nicely to, to both. If you, they have nice graphs in here, especially if you're a student. They have beautiful graphs here, and, and these are the vast majority of them are free. When there is a paid version of something, you'll see this little crown here, and it says Pro. It says Canva Pro subscribers get to this template, right? You can also click, I think if you click on, let me let's see, go up here. Oh, yeah. If you want to, for example, you know, there's so much of this stuff as you're looking around, if you spot something that you really like, and you know what, I want to come back and take a look at this, but I still want to keep browsing. This is where the star button is, and so you just click on that star, and you'll be able to come back again to use that. You can click on these three little icon, these three dots, and it gives you some information about whatever the particular product is. And it tells you you can customize it, you can preview it, and it just gives you the name of it, a beige, colorful, minimal flow chart, infographic, infographic chart, graph. So, and some, it'll sometimes will tell you the name of the person who made it. Oh, here it is. It gives you the size of it in pixels. So you'll determine if this is something that you want for vertical social media or your horizontal regular YouTube videos or presentations. And you can also resize things too. If, if you find something that's not in the size you want, Canva does allow you to resize it. Once you click on it, we'll go, we'll, I'll show you that later. So you, so you run through these and you notice you have resumes, you have letterheads, you have a planner. You know, if, you, if you're a student and you, you need a resume, this is really nice. And quite a few of these are free. You know, you do have some that are pro. Like I said, you just look for the crown. But they're all set up very nicely. Some of them have nice colors. They're already set for you. And if you once you click on them, it opens up a preview. And you, once you click on customize this template, it takes you to an open area. And then you can change the colors, the fonts, and the information and make it specific for you to come out. You just click this little plus button and you go back and you can keep cruising. You want to look at proposals if you're into business. You see, come in here. You have all these different projects that are available to you. And so it's a great starter for you. It's a great starter pack, business and marketing, whatever you like. There's something in here for you, obviously. And then reports, if you're doing special reports, different projects, they're also here. And they give you great ideas. And look at these wonderful designs. All you have to do really is put in, personalize it for yourself. You can change a few of the designs if you like to, because the elements, I'll show you where that is, can be can swap out a lot of these things. 
Social media is really cool. See, you have the shape here. You have Instagram Reels, Facebook posts, the covers themselves if you want a Facebook cover, Facebook ads if you're doing ads, Instagram, your stories, TikTok, LinkedIn, animated social media, Twitter posts, you name it, it's here. So you can run through at your heart's content and see if there's anything there that catches your eye and you click on it as I showed you so that you can check it out. And then it breaks down the social media. You can look at it this way, but you can click on it and then it will open everything up here. Let me move this. Let's just take that off so that you can see a little bit better. Okay, let me make sure that no one's, okay. And as I said, once you have the social media, you can come on down and focus in on these Instagram reels, the posts, your stories, TikTok, LinkedIn, and so forth. You just grab this little scroll bar here on the side and keep, keep going. You can close this up when you're done with that section. And if you want to go into videos, they have videos for Facebook. They have videos for mobile. You can start, if you know that you're primarily interested in going vertical, you, you can start with a mobile and it will give you all of the size. It just automatically gives you this exact size. You don't have to go on Google to find out, you know, what is the dimensions, length and width for my video if I want to do this for YouTube, if I want a YouTube short, if I want Instagram. Okay, so basically you can still hear me, my camera every 15, 20 minutes has to restart itself based on its parameters and so there's nothing really wrong it's just something that's inherent in this particular Canon camera that at least it restarts itself at first I used to have to go and do it manually so I put in magic lantern in, in it which allows it now to just restart automatically so it don't panic if you see it go off it will restart again Okay, so as I said, you have all these different YouTube videos and all the dimensions are built in, so, so you don't even have to worry about it, which is what I really love about Canva. If you want marketing, and then here for education, or oh, cards and invitations, you can, if you wanna create a postcard for someone or do an invitation for something that you have, look at this, if you're doing bridal showers, parties, whatever you here's the place to do it i mean it's all here and the designs are really beautiful some of them are breathtakingly beautiful they're very well done and so you can take the guesswork out of it if a baby shower look how nice that is and you can change if you don't like these particular garlands you can change it to different flowers you can change the font you know if it's a if it's a girl baby you can do whatever color you want boy it's up to you very easy to swap the information out. Postcards and then for education, which is really nice. Something that I'm very interested in. You can see here, you have education whiteboards, which is really cool. You just click on it and it will start showing you. Let me just do that one real quick to give you an idea. There you are and you have a whole lot. You can do your a blank. Here it is, create a blank for everything it gives you the opportunity to start from scratch if you want to do your entire design from scratch or and you want to go in and pick out your own elements you can do that or you can start here and you can delete what you don't want and make the changes so you can go in here and start playing around with your whiteboard let me let's see being interesting let me click on oh you know what Oh yeah, here it is, a mind map. So here's your main idea. 
that would go right in here into the topic and all these branches are added on so that you can just keep working and, and on the whiteboard you there's no end you can go as far as you want it just seems like an endless space i don't know how far it goes out but i haven't been able to find get to the end of it you can re it really gives you a, a huge board to just map out your whatever thoughts you have in your mind so this this is really a nice mind map here and here's another one everything you click on here it is your main idea and your topic and you just keep branching and branching and branching off very nice so that's a great way to plan your school projects here is and then and see how this one is a little bit different and you can bring in icons you can bring in people creative ideas and just play around with it and come up with something very unique when you're done as you can star this if you if you want to remember where it is because there's so many hundreds and thousands of these things if you really like this one i would suggest you hit the star button and it will go into the side panel and you'll see that later on it will show all your starred products that you have elected so let's go ahead and clear that so classroom posters that's something that's always nice you're always being asked to do projects and uh, I am kind I am brave but that's so cute I'm loved I'm worthy I am Olivia oh that's so nice some of them are very very sweet welcome back to school biology lots of different topics so you can run through them really fast just scroll through quickly and anything you like you see the star button you star it and then you can come back and take a look at it when you're ready to open it up and play with it they have worksheets here if you're a teacher and you're planning something for your kids they have little worksheets that you can start giving these out to kids they can color they, they lots of nice ideas for children if that's what you're into flashcards you can build your own set of flashcards here you can start with a blank or you can go in here and as you can see you've got all these flashcards here that you can produce for yourself you can get in and just fill it in here's one that has quite a few what's your favorite food and why and you can customize this to your heart's content it's already there and you can change the color change the fonts it just gives you a nice idea of what you, some things that you might like to do keep going pretty much anything you've got alphabet numbers body parts anatomy physiology history you can do any kind of card you want different shapes sizes whatever you like all right you can build a storyboard which is really nice that's a really big thing i see on the web all the time everybody wants to build their storyboard and you can do it a lot of these are primarily for kids but you can all you have to do is swap out the the information with the kitty stuff and put in more adult things if you want if you if you want a stick instead of um these animals it could be a house a car whatever your story is or whatever it is that you are interested in you can do that look at this they have comic strips this is really cute i have not used this one but the, i used to love comic strips when i was very young i used to read the my dad's newspaper always had the comic strip section and i always grabbed that every sunday so these are so cute and look at that to get you started very nice very nice so you can create your your own little comic strip about something interested i might want to use one of these i think i'm going to star this one i'll put that because i think i might want to take a look and even you swap out some of these characters for my own or maybe i'll use some of these and they have a section where they have lots of new characters now that you can swap out and create your own little comic strip so that's really nice. Canva does a lot. All right.
Working in groups, that's something Canva promotes quite a bit. And you'll see how it does allow people to work together and you can respond to each other. So that's something I believe you need a, a professional account perhaps to do the groups. But you can double check to, to find out if they do offer that in the free version. Classroom newsletter, everyone loves their newsletter. You can create your own newsletter. You can publish this online. You can publish it on Canva. Canva is allowing you to publish these things for free on their own website, which I think is really nice. So I'm actually working on one myself and trying to decide if I want to go ahead and publish that. But, that's, but I'm definitely working on my own website right now. And I may very well do a newsletter, but you've got to be ready to do that. And there's so many things I'm doing right now that that's on my list. <laughs> they have school newsletter for, for, for those who want to do something for the entire class, entire school. Lots of templates to start from. All right, so let's go down here to photos. There are plenty of free places where you can get uh, free videos and photos like, I think, Onsplash, I think Pixabay. I, I believe we even have some of them in here. Canva has some of those apps so that it's, it's easy for you to, to pull their information into your design. But Canva does provide a lot of its own photos and you can search for them Here's something with hearts, background, flowers, circle, love, money, house, valentine. And here you have this little arrow. Look at gradients, all the different gradients if you're interested in looking at gradients. I think I wanted to take a look at one of those. And it brings you there. So you can do that. Go back to that. Let's go back to photos. And you can just keep going through until you find what you're looking for. Beach, different colors, pink, things that are pink, things that are red, the sky. I mean, you name it, social media, photos. So if you're looking for something to put into your project that has to do with someone holding a lot of time a cell phone in their hand, this is these are photos and they're available for you to use to spruce up your own project. So that's that. It's got a lot of icons that you can use. The only thing I will tell you about the icons is that if you want to use them, don't use them in your brand because these icons are available to thousands of people all over the world. So though Canva will give you permission to use them, and some of them do have the pro version here, and you'll see the, the crown. That's only for someone who's the paid version. But you can use them on YouTube, and I think you can use them in commercial products and so forth, but don't you can't trademark them, for example, because they actually belong to someone and it's owned by someone, even though they have a contract with Canva you still can't just assume that they're yours. You can do modifications and that's okay. So that's really, so there are lots in here that you can pull into your project. Lots of things here, very, very nice. Look at that, it's amazing. Look at that pair of glasses, I like that. You have, check marks wow amazing just these people are so artistic and i am not so i definitely tip my hat to these people who can do all these things it's amazing all right down here for those of you, I think this is a pro feature, brand templates, right? I already have my brand set up and it's got my colors 
and let's see, brand kit here, I guess I would have to hit my here. These are my colors for the memory rainbow. And you can set up your own colors, your own fonts and so forth. And you, you also have templates, brand controls. They have a content planner that you can go in and set up a little calendar to remind you of certain things that's going on. And you can, it'll remind you to go ahead and maybe make something special for that day. Or, or you can set it up to remind you to post to your social media account. So it's just a, a nice reminder for you. And it's there free of charge. These apps are amazing. Canva has created partnerships with a number of apps out in the web space and just to make it easier for you so you don't have to Google everything. Canva wants it to be at your fingertips so as soon as you want something, you just go for it. And here you have text to image. That's something a lot of people love, different shadows that you want to put on your images. And you'll have duotone, frames, smart mock-ups, so that you can create your own t-shirts, your bags, whatever you want. You can put whatever saying that you've come up with on it to make it uniquely yours. And here you have all these different, some of them you may recognize, and others may be new to you. So you can go in here and play around. You have emojis and so on. And this is the, the s smart mock-ups here. See someone here with a t-shirt on, different t-shirts, hoodies, whatever. They're available to you. You can go ahead and print your own information on them. And Canva can literally print print it for you and I believe send you the product. I think they will charge you a certain fee and you have to go in and just check to find out how much that will cost you. Okay. So let's go back to home. All right. This is a nice area that Canvas set up where you have documents, your whiteboards, your presentation, social media, your videos, your print products, your websites. And if you click on the, the three little dots, right, it opens up even more. And then you can continue magazines, mind maps, you name it, photo collage. You click on this. It's trying to just make it as simple as possible for you. Worksheets, comic strip, remember that? your planners, your reports, Zoom, virtual background. That's kind of nice. Your invoice, blog graphics, ebook covers, flyers, bookmarks. You can pretty much create anything here. Now, if you'd like, now you can scroll down here if you want as we did before, templates, infographics, wallpapers. And so it just gives you another view of things. And you can, over here, you see, see all. If you're interested in these photos, you can just do the see all. And then it opens up even more. So it kind of has everything compressed so that it's not overwhelming. And it's up to you to click on something if you want to expand it. And then you're going to find yourself with hundreds of choices. Then, of course, you can filter it if you don't want to sit there all day and do the scroll forever. Once again, you come over here, you look at your style, right? And you can you want to look at something that's new that Canva may have just brought in a new collection. And so you can take a look and say, let's see what's up with the new collection. Suppose you want something aesthetic. You go in here. You can take off. If you want to keep both, you can, but I would suggest take one off so you do it one at a time. And then do that. Okay. Then if you want happy, take that off. And it goes through just happy themes. Happy birthday, happy this. You take I would take it off and do something fun. 
and you can run through the, all these summer things, people having fun in the sun, right? So there's lots of opportunities, shows you style, and then themes, if you're interested in a theme, like I said, if you, want, if you're, if you know you're interested in business, you don't need to go through a thousand other photos. You want to focus in on, you know, I'm, I'm here for business, right? So it's going to open up that particular area. Take that off. If the theme is uh, education, as we said before, then you want to open that up and start looking through these. All right. Now... So let's go back to the home. You can always go hit the home button. If you get lost or you become overwhelmed, just go back to the home button. And if you're interested in social media, which I think a lot of you probably are, both videos and social media, they tend to bring you a lot of these things. All right, so let me see, social media. presentation, social media, and you can scroll down here and you can decide, do you want to do an Instagram post? Do you want to, now if you, when you just mouse over the particular name and you'll see the size, 1080 by 1080, right? So you have like a square, it tells you this is an Instagram square post. The story is 1080 by 1920, and you can see that there. Instagram ads, the reels, 1080 by 1920. So you don't have to worry. If you wanted an Instagram reel, go up here to this magnifier lens, which is a little icon that they use for all of them. They all have it. And you just click on that. And look at that, you've got Instagram Reel video templates, and these are gonna be videos, because the Reels are basically just little short videos that's generally less than a minute. And you can see someone here posing, and it's only a few seconds, but that's generally what Instagram wants, less than a minute. So this one is only about 10, 15 seconds or whatever, but that's usually enough, many people, that's enough, but you can certainly expand it and you can add them together just as long as you don't go over that minute mark. The same thing for YouTube Shorts. And the nice thing about it, though, is that the Instagram Reels uses the very same dimensions as the YouTube Shorts. And you can put the, the same, you can use the same one for Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, YouTube Shorts, and probably a number of others that are out there. So once you do make that short one minute video, you can use Canva to upload them, which is what I generally do and have, have Canva just upload them for me to the various platforms. And it makes it a lot faster and easier to, to do it that way. And it oftentimes saves you from having to sign in because Canva already has. Once you sign up with your credentials for Canva, which I'll show you how to do that, you're set. And every time you upload after that, you just click on upload, click on where you want to go, and Canva takes you there. Or it'll tell you to take a picture of it, and it sends it to your cell phone, and then it sends it right up. So it's, it's very nice, very, very nicely done. Canva really thought, and, it, and the reason why it does so well with social media is because it's got a lot of the people working for them are these young, talented designers that are up and coming, and they understand what people in their age gra group like. And so they want it to be nice and easy and simple and most likely minimalistic. It just We just want the bare bones stuff, right? So this is the reason why a lot of people flock to Canva as opposed to maybe Adobe because Adobe requires a little bit more training um, and the learning curve is a little bit steeper. But it is excellent too. So 
I do both because I use, I combine the two. I, I find it useful for me uh, to get my inspiration from Canva. And then I like the timeline in Premiere Pro. It's easy for me to stack things. I like that setup in Premiere Pro. And so a lot of times I'll pull the videos from Canva into Premiere Pro. And then sometimes I'll re-upload them to Canva. And I love the transitions in Canva. So you can do a combination of, the, of, of both, which is what's really nice. So like I said, you can go down here, and one, anytime you get into a particular area, you simply go search for the topic, look for the subject matter if you're interested in art, technology, computer science, design, brand, social media marketing, finance. It brings you to wherever you want to go. You want, you're interested in finance, learning about crypto trading. Hmm. Modern home. Okay, so you've got a little bit of everything here for you. And then you can change the colors, right? You can simply, if you want to click on something and you want the background to change, you simply go over here and you click on that and it'll change it for you. So if you like it, you can go ahead and star that. That's a cute one. And you don't have to be interested in crypto. You might just like the way it's laid out and someone took the time to do a very nice animation of those words and letters and the way it comes in. So you might say, you know, that's kind of cute. I have an idea, I might want to try that. And you star that and you can come on out and that will be there waiting for you in your starred list. Okay. Go back to home. Okay. Now, let's take a look at... Let me see if I... Uh, Instagram story... Instagram mm -mm -mm. real. Let's go back here again. And let's find one that we want to. Let's see. This one, she's swinging her purse. They've got the hearts. This is the kind of stuff they love on TikTok. So let's try that. Let's see if we can customize this. Okay, so now I have this video open and there are a number of things that you can do to, to change it. But before we do, let's take a look at the video. It is 18.3 seconds. If you look up here in this upper, it's right hand for me, I guess I can say that. Whoops. You can also preview that as we have. You can download it, of course. When you're done, you can simply close it. So what I wanted to show you was that it's 18 seconds here. And down here is the timeline. You can click on these three little buttons here, if you can see them, three little dots. And you can add up another page by doing that. You've got a blank page. If you want to get rid of that page, you can go in here and say delete page. Click on that again. You can duplicate that the first one. So you hit duplicate. And it gives you an exact duplicate of this. So if you want to run this a little bit more, to now you're up to 36 seconds, right? And if you want to get rid of it, you simply delete that and it will get rid of that whole section. You can go back in again. You can lock it if you want. If you want to make sure that you don't move it, you can certainly do that and you can certainly delete this by hitting the delete page. Then if you want to, you can come down here. Let's see if you can see that. 
Okay, let's see. Here you have, let me click, okay, I've clicked on this. You have to activate the video by clicking on it. And you see these blue bars that go around it. Okay, it means it's activated. Then if you see right, you see there's a little square box and then a bunch of little ones at the bottom. This top one refers to zoom in that particular video that you've clicked on. I think I actually ended up clicking on the bottom instead of the top because it's so tiny. The bottom one Okay, so now, so now there it is, right? So that's the top. So you can zoom in or zoom out if you want to look at anything in particular. That square, the top refers to this. And the bottom, if you're zooming, you're going to be zooming out your timeline if you want your timeline to go a little further out. All right, so we can go up to 294% or whatever you want, or you can bring it back to you know, 100 or so percent, that's fine. And you can also change, if you see this little, let me see if you can see that, arrow. Let's see, here, you can click on that and it removes the timeline from below. And, change, so, and then to, if you wanna go back, you just click on it again, so you don't have to worry you're not losing anything, you don't have to panic, you just click on that, and you see it there again at the bottom, you click on it, so just do it a few times so that you feel comfortable. I know when you first come into something new, it's a little scary, you think you're, you're gonna do something, you're gonna break something. All right. Here is this little playhead that I'm grabbing. You can barely see it when, because my pointer is so big, but you can see it there, it's a little, downward point in triangle and it's got a line with it it will take you to what different parts of the video and there's my camera again resetting itself there it is it's back again okay so if you wanted to cut this thing for say for example let's take a look at what she's doing she okay she just changed a pose let's go back there there she is. Let's see. Let's see her. She's going to pose again for us. There it is. Oops. Right. Say you want to cut it there. I think you can just right click, and you see where it says split page. You just click on that, or you can use the shortcut key for S. You see S over on the side here. And there it is, it's split. So now what you can do in here, you can put a whole new element between her two poses and you can break up her poses and put whatever you want in between. Right in here, you can add a page. See that comes in. And so you can bring something else in, in between. Say I wanted to put this in between. There it is, love the moment you're in. And so that's gonna be between her moves that she made okay then if i want to i can put let me go between this one let me go between this one either one down here you can add a transition now between them so you click on that and it brings you over here to transition which is very very simple the way canva has it laid out and this is none right here you can try to dissolve as you go between them you can do a slide, you see how that's sliding? And then when you click on it, you can determine which direction you're sliding from. This one is going that way, see that? But if I click this, it's, notice it's gone back the opposite way. If you want it to go up, you see it goes up. If you want it to go down, it slides down. A circle wipe, you see that? And you can have it going in or you can have it going out or in. See that? So that's really cute. March, and this is something that they're working on, a beta version, how that changes. This is new. This is one of the newer ones. They call this flow. It, what it's doing, it's working on both sides. There it is. Okay. 
So you'll see if you like that. Stack, it see it's coming down. And you can also determine the direction, whether you want it to go from here, up, down, Let's see, flow also had direction. Let's try a different direction for flow. An upward direction for flow. And down for flow. Up. Down. Okay. Oh, here's another one, chop. This is kind of funny. And chop also has, look at that, different directions and moving. See that as you go from style to style little chop in different directions so if you want something and then you can go ahead and this is really nice which I think is is good because even in Adobe though you can cut and paste and drop things this is just really nicely laid out to just have one button that says apply between all pages instead of having to drag something over and do something it, it'll put all once you've decided what you want you know you want the line wipe. You can say apply between all pages. And now when you play it, you can go up here and play. You can play from here or there. And then you'll see it as you get to the transition. There it is. And then you get to the next one. It's going to do the very same thing again because we applied the same transition between all of them. So it's up to you. You can do individual transitions or you can be consistent and just use one. So this is really nice to work with because she's doing all these different poses and you can simply go in, grab your playhead right there, just kind of grab it, hold on to your, to the, to the computer and space bar here or your mouse or whatever and then just kind of pull as you're moving along it allows you to pull and then you, you can watch her change her pose if she's gone from there at this point let's see at what point does she come back there and then she disappears right about you can slowly there she changes a pose again. And so if you want to, you can right click and you can split the page or you can hit that S key on your keyboard. And once again, you can put in a transition or put in a new page, put something else in between. Come in soon. Let's see what would be cute to stick in there. Something with the cell phone, maybe her friend calls. And let's see, a little bit of a conversation goes on. And you can have her maybe texting somebody or somebody sending her a text. All right? And so you move on. And so you can be very creative and put in whatever you want. You can change the text. Even though this is a video, you can actually put a text on top of it. There it is. You can just put that and you can go, really, that's sweet, right? And that will play. That becomes a part of it, just that simple. Look at that. See it? And that, be that becomes a part of your video. So it's very nice that you can actually just throw text right there on, your, on top of the video. You can put a video behind a video and you can go into elements and you have stickers, see all. Let's see, what kind of sticker can we add on here? Lots of stickers. Let's see what's cute. What would be interesting? Hmm. 
you know, sometimes we'll have to spend some time. And you can save the stickers that you like the best so that you don't have to keep scrolling through and looking forever for stickers. You can put them into one folder. And Canva allows you to create folders so when you find something that you like, you can move it into that folder. So for her, maybe just something like this. And then you can grab this handle right at the base. You can come up and scroll, and it changes the size. You can do that from either direction. And then you can click away, and there it is. So you have that, it's really cute. And you can come out. When you get up here to the top, to go out of it, you just click on that, and it will bring you out. If you want to look at, it has circles and squares and videos. All of it is based on this word circle. So if you're searching for something, you can put tree and hit return, and it's going to bring up trees. You can put see all if you wanted to add a tree. I don't think you would want to put this particular movie, but it's there. If you wanted to add, um, let's see what's here. You can add additional shapes, circle, whatever you like. And then you can change the color. You can use it as a background and you can put something on top of it if you like, if you wanted to move this. Now you notice how that moved right behind the last object that I created. All you have to do is go up here to this menu bar and it allows you very, very intuitively. This is so nice. I really love this. And you can go forward and look at that. Very nice. You can arrange things to the top, to the middle, to the bottom, left, center, and right, depending on how you want things to be. So that's something to, you can play with. So you've got a different look. And then you can change the size. If that's too big, you can make it, oh, look at that. You can go to the side and make it something eccentric. And it makes it look almost three-dimensional like that. You can bring it in, and that's cute. A number of things you can do. Here you have all kinds of graphics again. And, and this is something that I was playing with mathematics, pi. If you, for formulas, if you're interested in formulas, you can type in a formula into Canva and if you want to, here it is, this, if you want um, to know area of a circle, and there it is. Area equals pi r squared, and I have a whole video that we did a lot of the formulas, so that's really nice. And just remember to remove the information so that you can click off and type something new. Otherwise, it just keeps giving you the same thing. All right. And another thing that is useful, so you have all of these elements that you can add lots of flowers and things just endless you just scroll through and you could do this all day long you really spend hours scrolling through looking for different features so it's just really quite nice now let's look for grids because this is really Im oh I didn't want this kind of let's see was not, oh, not graphics. Let's see if it's down here. Oh, yeah, here they are, frames. These are the grids I was looking for. If you wanted, let me just put a, a blank page here. 
say you wanted to create a double video, right? You wanted two people dancing, right? And they love this type of thing with TikTok. And we see this being done in Adobe and you have to, the way Adobe has it set up, you actually have to pull in your rulers and, and then measure it and divide by two. And, you know, it's a lot of stuff that you have to go through. Canva has these nice little simple grids, that's it. And so let's go to, oh here, this is cute. You can put her at the top. And you notice how it she it, she just gets pulled right in. It's the, you just you don't have to fight with it and even do as much as I was doing. It just because it's a a grid, it pulls her right in. The same thing would be if I had. Let's see if I brought in a video. Let's see. Uh, let's see if I dance. Let's see, I wanted somebody dance. Dancing. Oh, here's a bunch of girls dancing. This should be cute. Okay, perfect. All right, so here they are. There you go. And I'm starting right there. I'm going to hit the play button. There they go. Okay, so that's awesome. And then if you wanted... At this top, you want to get rid of that. All you have to do is hit the delete on you. you uh, let's see. Actually, it may delete all of them there. Probably right click. And let me see if I delete it. Okay, good. If you delete something by mistake, you can just do Command Z or Control Z. Just like you do in, mo in any other program for the most part. A lot of programs use the same Command Z or Control Z to undo. Always remember that because you panic when you hit something. Okay, so say I want to do another dance move. Let's see. Hmm. And that's kind of silly. Let's see. Who is? No, oh, she's doing something over oh, here. So, well, it's kind of an exercise class here. Let me see what is this girl doing. Let's see what she's doing. Let's put her in here and just drag it so you can play both of them together. And so she's at the top doing that and she's at the bottom doing and they're at the bottom doing that, right? That's a typical classical TikTok video. I'll probably get you millions of views. If this is what you want to do, that's probably, you'll probably get millions of views with that particular TikTok, you know, everybody's going to want to look at that. So you can come in here and that's why it's so easy for people to get millions of views because this is entertainment for today. All right. And so that's one. Okay. Let's try another one. Let's go back. Let's get off the dance and let's go back to elements and under elements is where you find most of this stuff now suppose you wanted you can say see all and look at all the variations so it's not just two on top of each other you can have three you can have them side by side you can have some on the side just whatever you want to your heart's content let's see what would be interesting to see a bunch of these that's an interesting grid, right? And let's take a look at the videos that you can toss into these. And let's dancer. Dancers. So we have these guys. Let's see where we're going to put them. Let's put them there. And OK, 
Okay, we have our little ballerinas here. Let's put them there. Okay, then we have, what's this? That's pretty wild. I don't know what that is, but let's see. And then lots of these choices here. You can go through and like the ones you want. Find some interesting ones. There's a bunch of little children there. Let's see. Hmm. Okay, let's see if we have any more dancers here. Okay, let's see. Okay, that's a little bit too... Oops. Hmm. What have we here? And this one. What's she doing here? Okay, this one is actually a green screen, too, so that's interesting. So you can actually swap out her background very easily. Okay, and if you played that video, this is what you've got going on. Definitely TikTok. And that would definitely get a lot of TikTok attention. <laughs> okay, so that's, that's, that's definitely, that's, that's got TikTok all over it for sure okay all right so this is going to be let me just rename this tutorial okay and canva automatically saves a lot of these you don't have to but every once in a while i check on it and just i hit the save once in a while but Technically, you don't have to. It's, it pretty much saves for you as you go along. It's pretty good. Once in a while, I, I have lost a few things. Sometimes you're working and all of a sudden you look down and there's one, something, especially in the front, may disappear. So sometimes I do make copies, make an extra backup. If you've designed something that took a lot of time, don't just make one instance of it, I would go ahead and make a backup copy. And you can simply, to, to, if you wanted to make a copy of all of this, so you love this, you don't want to mess with it, or you do want to make the changes, you can simply go into File, go up here in the upper left-hand corner, and see where it says here, Make a Copy. Or you can even save it to your folder. You can do a version history if you want to go backwards on it. If you want to download, you want to import files, whatever. So you can simply make a copy if you want to. And then you can it come up here, just like these right here. And then you can just, right here, you change the name. And it'll come up as copy anyway. And OK, so that's pretty good. So let's take that name off. So we look, let's go back to elements. And so you see you have an unlimited amount of grids there to work with, which is very nice. And sometimes I forget that they're here because I'm so used to working in Adobe and I have to sit there and do it my own way. But there are people who sell these templates. You know, I think there's someone doing Adobe Premiere Pro who's selling these templates. So you can just, here it is totally free in Canva. All you're doing is throw in the video just as easily as I did it and you're done and there are people who are making money off these grids so it's kind of interesting okay now okay let's get off grids go up here see the arrow and you can get out of that Canva saves your recently used projects so if you're looking for stuff these are things that I've used even yesterday or the day before 
and it just goes on and on, and it saves a lot of them. So if you want to reuse them, it makes it a little bit easier, and you don't have to go searching all over the place again. So that's kind of cute. That That's already there for you. And as I said, you have your text, and you can throw on something there. For the captions, I don't, I'm not aware of automatic captions as yet in Canva for these TikTok style videos. Usually you need to have a, a caption, but you can certainly hit your head ends here and you can type in whatever you want. Dancers, you can go up here and you can change the color. You can make it white and you can animate it. Oops, sorry. You can animate it separately by going up here. This is where you're going to do all of the changes. You can change it to bold. You can make it um, italics. You can underline. You can change it from all caps to small caps. Here's not doesn't want to cooperate right now, but you can do that. And you can do animation. So if you want to, you can, let's see something here. Oops. Do this again. Uh oh. Where was I? Mm -mm -mm. Let me scroll to where I had that. Here. Oh, yeah, here it is. Sorry. Okay, so don't forget your scroll bar at the bottom. Sometimes it may jump out of it. All right, so we're going to animate this. And you can do a fade, you can do a breathe. And you see how it just kind of increases it slowly. And you can scale this to be a lot more if you want. You can change the intensity of it. You can do a, a burst block typewriter. OK, that's kind of cute. And. Scrapbook, tumble. So lots of different things you can do, and then you can determine how intense you want it to be. Okay. Okay. Also, let's see. Losing my graphic here. All right, and effects. You can add a drop shadow, and you can determine the color and the transparency of it if you want it to be particular color, pink, yellow, something that's going to be strong. You've got an orange there. And you can do an offset. So that determines just how wide apart that shadow falls from the text. And you can blur things. You just play with it. Here's your shot, another shadow, take it off, lift, none, okay. 
Then you added a background and you can change the background color and transparency. So lots of things you can curve, you can create a curve there if you want. None. Okay, so there you have it. So there's a number of things here. You can add pages if you like. You can use this. You can duplicate. So it all depends on what you click on. It will determine what's up here. And you have the volume that you can set. If you have a video, it may have audio. So it has the volume button. And you can position things front to back. Transparency, if you want things, there you go. You can change the transparency of both the text as well as the video. This is a link. If you wanted, for example, this to be linked to the web, you can enter a URL to your website or whatever. Someone can click on it and can see that. You can lock things into position if you don't want them to move. If you don't want this video to move, you can hit the lock. And so you won't accidentally move things around. You want to get rid of it, select it again, and then hit the unlock button. It should, and when you see the lock open, it means it's unlocked. You can borrow colors using this particular copy styles and so forth by clicking on it. And let's see, it probably won't work for what I have here, but. This is not the best example right here. I'll just show you something else, but you can copy one style to another by using that. And let's see, this is, oh yeah, this is your insight. It tells you what's going on, your views. Like if you have, I guess, a website or you have a design that you shared with the public, it'll tell you how many views, engagements, links, and so forth social media connections. So that's something new that they're starting. If you show your design and share it with the world. Okay, so, all right, so quite a bit that we've covered. If you want notes, you can go ahead and write notes in the corner. Okay. All right, so dancers the there, and that will be there. So this is that part won't be visible when you download the video. So if you wanted to, let's go back here. Bring your playhead to the beginning if that's where you want to start your video. You can go ahead and click on this double arrow here. It says preview, and it will open up the preview and start playing your video. Okay, and you're gonna see where we made the cut. There it is, and you see where we not only cut it, but we added transitions to it, and then you see her posing again. So it's actually a really good one for like a TikTok, Instagram type thing, and you can have a message that you can put some information there. You see her walking, and you've got, you've added to to that, you've got your dancers, that's your top and bottom grid. And you can decide how long you want those videos to be. Most likely they're not gonna be more than three seconds. They're actually a little too long here. And, and there you go again, All right? And you've got your crazy dancers there for you. 
so that just that e see how easily we created a video and if this is the style that you want and you've got your text right there and you can put all kinds of elements on top of it and just as easily it, it, it plays for you and when you're done you go back and click on the same double arrow and that can take you out and it says close when you're done and you're ready to download you can now you can add audio if you'd like right and all you have to do is go over here and it, where it says audio if it's not there because probably I've used audio so mine opens up go down here to where it says apps see at the bottom apps and it will bring you to an area and because mine is already pulled out I won't see it but in here you'll see audio and video and various things and then you can just click on them and they'll open up once you start using them Canva will pull them over to the side and then here we have text to image and documents I may have to come back again and continue the tutorial because there's so many things there's so many things to learn uh, about Canva so this is just a basic beginner and I'll do another one to continue going over text to image um, doing magic write which is like Canva's um, chat GPT that you can ask questions and it can answer some questions it's not as vast as chat GPT in terms of its knowledge and it won't do medical questions but it does give you quite a bit of answers to many basic questions that you would need answered so here if, let's do the share button if you're ready you've done all you're ready for your TikTok to to go out this one doesn't have the audio oh wait we were sorry before we do that before we do that let's go back to to add in the audio okay if some of them I think are free while some of them I think you need the pro and it, when you mouse over it it tells you you'll see the pro there and when you click on it it'll tell you it's free for Canva Pro right it tells you a little bit more about it and you can look for keywords so forth to get it to come over all you have to do is click on it if you wanted this ukulele song it, it appears down here and you would hit the play button I'm not gonna play because I don't know if I have permission to play on this on YouTube because this is where this is being broadcast and I don't want to strike but I have seen other creators play the canva um, but I don't know what their status is you know if they've gotten special permission so I'm not gonna play it but it's there and like I said you can extend it and it goes to the length of your video if you want to you can grab the end of it and you can make it shorter and you can add different ones if you don't you don't have to have just one if you wanted another one you can put the playhead where you want it and then you can do that which one was that and uh, let's do this one and you notice how it drops it to the bottom and so they are one is on top of the other they would be playing together at this point if you want them to play separately you can take one oops go down here and grab this and bring it over and then you can stop it here and you can add another one I mean if you want to add several most people don't have a bunch of different audios so that's usually pretty good and let's see okay so I'm gonna go ahead and if you want to delete it you just click on it and hit the you can yeah there it is or you can highlight it and hit delete or you can use the three little dots and it'll say delete so that's added very simple to add your song let's see okay 
Okay. I see something you can change this. And that's good. You can move pages up and down, which is also very easy to do here in Canva. All you if you didn't if you wanted this page to move, you simply click it if you want to bring it back down and it would just change position, so that's good to know. And once again, of course, you've got your notes over here. Okay, and you can go back and bring this down to the bottom if you'd like. And animate to your heart's content. All right, so when you're done and you feel good about your video, you go over here to the share button and it opens up this box, which is very easy to use. At first, it might look a little scary because there's a lot of things, but it really isn't. All you have to do is say, if you want to share it on the direct, you want Canva to send it directly to social media, all you have to do is click on this and it will say, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. I'm not going to click on it because it might try to send it since I have an account. And and next thing you know, all of this is in TikTok and I'm not ready for that. So it's just show, I'm just showing you how easy it is. If you want to download it, you click on the download button to bring it into your own computer. And since it's a video, it's going to suggest an MP4 video. So you can, if you don't want a video, you want just a flat image, a ping or a PNG, JPEG, a PDF if you want that, SVG, a, G a GIF or a GIF, whatever you like, is there. And it'll suggest exactly what you really need, which is, it's very intuitive. They, they make it very simple. And then you just, you can decide, is another thing too that's important. If you want only one page, maybe you only want one section downloaded, what you what you do is you click on this button where it says all pages and if you notice it removed the the checks from all of them so make sure they're all removed and if you want just a current page that you're on this is where your playhead is and it's one you've selected and you say Cur you click current page and that's it and it's that's all it, you hit done and that's all it's going to download to your computer it's very fast very efficient and if you want two pages, you see, you, do, you can go ahead and you can do page two and page four, or you can do from page four, you know, you can even go in here and type and put it to page seven, if you had a page seven, I don't even know if I have a page seven, but it would do you know, one to seven and hit done, and it would also do the same thing, okay? So I'm gonna come out, I don't wanna download any of this. When you want to go to social media, it will tell you, it'll just bring up some information for you to fill out so that Canva knows where you specifically want it sent and it'll set it up for you. So don't be scared to do it. You can go ahead and give it a try. It will give you instructions on how to just bring in your information, the name of your website. And that's basically pretty much it. So that's good. All right, so that's a good overview of basically how to use Canva. You can upload it. The last thing I would just want to show you where you do the uploads here. This is, a, this is important because here, let me just create a page here. And if I wanted, go back to my uploads and I want to bring in a picture of myself, you know, I can do that, okay, and there it is, and I can expand it, bring it up, do whatever I want with it, and I can put it into one of those grids, I can get that grid, and I can put it in there in whatever size, shape you want, you can create circles, anything you want, and I can add this if I want on top of a video as well, all I would have to do if I wanted my face on that, I could just simply do that. And now I'm part of the dancing video.
And if I wanted it here, I could just stick it here. And then it becomes a part of it. Anyway, if I were to play that, it would play right back with it. There it is. Okay, perfect. So that's going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed this little review of Canva. There's so much to learn, so much that you can do with Canva. And it's easy, intuitive, you can just play with it. You're not going to break anything. Canva makes it so easy for you to just click and drag, drag and drop. And the more, that's how I learn by look, watching v YouTube videos, dragging and dropping. And I've been able to make some of my own videos using Canva. And uh, I'm learning more and more every day. And Canva is adding more and more every day to its assortment of products. So thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, I want you to have a wonderful day. And I will see you next time on Canva World. <laughs> thank you. OK, so let's go ahead and turn this off. Let's end the stream.